Hi, so in this video, we're going to look at themes. So, so far we've looked at, we've signed you into a Weebly site. So you've got your Weebly account. And then we've had a quick look at the dashboard. So we've seen, it doesn't matter if you don't understand it all yet, but you, you know where the dashboard is. You can refer back to find any part of it by just looking at the lesson again. So we've got the dashboard. We've got two settings. We've got a settings section in the dashboard itself and we've got a settings section in the site builder uh, and we've looked at the site builder in brief and we've seen that we've basically got all of the blocks that we drag into the web page uh, all in the site builder section and we dra drag those across and then we fill them in so the next thing we're going to look at because we haven't started building a site yet is going to be the themes so you can choose different themes. Themes have been designed for you already. And so you can have a look at those themes. And if you like a particular theme, then I would suggest you use that theme for your, um, for your website. So let's uh, first of all, get to themes. So we need to get out of this and then get into the website builder again. And then we click on edit that will get us into the into the builder itself and here is a variety of different themes so you can choose whatever theme you want um this you'll get this chart when you first log in this will be the options that you get to look and choose a theme so if you choose a theme it doesn't matter you can change it again later but when you change it's, it's important when choosing the themes to decide on some basics. So for example, menus will stay uh, on this theme, menus are top left and it's a small hamburger. And then it expands like that into um, a haze screen with the menu at the top. Um, it's made up with various sections and there's very little in that. And you basically, there's just got a shop and a blog and you, you basically would put your, your stock into the shop and set out the shop as you'd like and add all the text and everything else. The blog here, so everything there is set again. And each theme will have particular fonts, particular styles, particular colors, font sizes, um, and a basic layout. Um, but the main thing that rarely changes between in, in a theme is the menu, the location of the menu. So on this one, you can see the menu is at the bottom of the main image. So you can't move that main menu. Um, you, there are work, workarounds to put it elsewhere on the site, but that main menu will always be there. So if you like that location, great. If you prefer a hamburger location top left, uh, which most of the mobile apps will have as well, then you want to be choosing that one. But if, um, if you like the, the more, the, the basic strip across the top, then, then great. Now, the other thing with themes is that some themes are going to have uh, additional options so you can have a theme um, and then if you look at changing the theme because you can once you've got a theme you can look at theme options and things like theme fonts um, again here we can see we've got um, the menu across the top of the page um, on theme fonts you can change the size of fonts whether the, the what type of font um, uh, whether it's bold or whether it's regular um, you can change the font for the blog post title, the font for the blog post uh, body text. So all of that can be changed. But when you've decided on a theme you want, just choose that theme. It'll ask you to set a domain name. Don't worry about that. You don't have to do that yet. And then you've got a theme. If you click up at the top next to pages, you can see theme gives you on this theme a variety of different colors. If you click on a different color, you will get um, the opportunity to have a different um, haze over the screen, over the over your header. Um, and you can also pick a color. So you can add a color like so, and it changes the haze. Now, not all themes allow that. Some themes do, some don't. So some themes are potentially better than others or have better options for you. So if that's something you like having the option for, then this theme would be an option for you. And then here we've got site title, 
which can either be a title or it can be a logo. If it's going to be a logo, you can upload the logo, which you just make elsewhere and upload it. If you've already got a PNG file, um, or you can have text or you can turn it off. So you have options there for your website. And then you've also got site title navigation menu, which is the navigation on the top right. And then you've got body text, paragraphs, um, quote text, um, all the different the pictures, picture captions, every little bit of writing. You've got an option for color, font type, font uh, weight, um, whether it's uppercase or lowercase, or whether it's a mixture of the two. So you can change all of that. And if you change it in theme, then when you go to add a new paragraph title or add new body text, it will be in that default color and size and type of font. If you do that here and get that right first before you do anything else so that it looks nice and you like it, then you won't get into a situation where you're changing font in the design and then each page has different color body text. Each page has got a different font. You've got five different types of font on one page and it starts to look a real mess. So get organized, be organized, do before you do any more design with the theme, make sure that you've got your basics right. So you've got your, your blog text right. You've got your paragraph and body text on normal pages right. You've got um, your basic colors, theme colors right. The buttons are right so that the buttons look, look as you want them to look. Certain themes will enable you to change the color of buttons and some will just give you a choice of a small or large button in two different styles. So check that on your theme before you choose a theme and you'll save yourself an awful lot of time. Uh, and as you can see here, just go through the rest of the website, links. So if you haven't got a link in the website, put a link in. I'll show you how to do that in a minute. And uh, then have a look at what the link looks like before you hover over it and then after you hover over it. So you want it to stand out so people can see it's a link. And then when they get a click on it, you want it to say, yep, if you click, this is going to happen. OK, so you want link and hover color and that might be the same color, but a different shade or it might be two different colors. Then um, here we've got uh, this is the blog page. So you can see here uh, the probably slightly too big, I would say those titles. So you might want to reduce the author archive and category titles slightly. Uh, and then this is the shop. So looking at the shop, you can see uh, paragraph titles again. Um, oh, this is the gen a general page. So that's what your general text is going to look like. Um, so go through all of this, make sure you're happy with it all uh, before you start to spend time designing and spend a little bit of time making sure everything, absolutely everything, um, image captions, um, gallery captions, uh, and then the shop. So product element, pricing size, pricing color, all of that sort of stuff. Make sure that all of that, you'll have to create a product in order to look at that. So we'll, I'll show you that later as well. Create the product and then look at it and make sure all the colors of all the text are right and as you would like it. OK, so we then can get once you've decided you've got everything right and you've got your theme right and everything else, you can get back out of theme and then back into uh, either pages or builder, which we're going to be talking about uh, later on. But um, as you can see at the moment, going through changing colors, changing colors of uh, the links, changing colors of the menu, it's all it, you should spend some time on this, because if you get this right, then the rest of it is going to be uh, a lot quicker.